Hey friends, Miss Carico here. I wanted to come and read a book to you today about the universe. I love outer space. How many of you guys like outer space? Many astronomers believe the universe was born from one gigantic explosion called the Big Bang. Eight planets orbit around the sun. They make up the solar system. So here is the sun, and the closest planet to the sun is Mercury. Then Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And of course, the planets closest to the sun are the warmest and the planets furthest from the sun are super cold. It takes Earth one year to spin or orbit around the sun. It takes Earth 24 hours or one day to revolve around itself once. So, if this is the sun, this is the Earth, not only is the Earth turning around like this, turning on itself, it's also turning around the sun. See that little girl? What is she looking at? She was looking at night, now she's looking at day. The moon orbits Earth in one month approximately. From 1969 to 1972, we sent astronauts to an enormous rocky sphere called the moon. The moon's surface is covered in craters. Astronauts walked on the moon and rode in vehicles. They brought back many rock samples. Any of you guys that have ever been to Disney World, there's an uh, exhibit at Disney World called The Earth, or no, excuse me, The Land. And in that exhibit, they have um, soil from the moon that they grow plants in, and it's super cool. They grow just like they would here on Earth. Pretty neat, huh? Earth is made up of an atmosphere, which is the outside of the Earth, a crust, which is the brown part here, a mantle, an outer core, and an inner core. Planets do not glow with their own light. They reflect the light of the sun. So we have to have the sun. The sun makes light for us and, and creates heat for us. Mars, Mercury, and Venus are solid planets like Earth. Mars is easily recognized by its red surface and its polar ice caps. So on each pole, at the bottom and the top, there's ice. Mercury, a giant rock, is very close to the sun. Under the heavy atmosphere on Venus, there is an uneven surface marked by valleys, mountains, and volcanoes. Yes, even volcanoes. Now discover these planets. Jupiter is the biggest it is made up of many gases. Saturn has beautiful rings. Uranus and Neptune are also gaseous planets. The sun shines with its own light because it's made up of extremely hot gases. Satellites have come close to the sun and transmitted their observations by radio waves. The sun's surface is grainy like an orange peel and has a temperature of nearly 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Think about that, friends. The hottest it gets around here is 100, maybe 105 on a really hot day. But the sun is 10,000 degrees. Dark spots sometimes appear on the sun and they are cool areas. Gigantic arcs of burning gas 
surround the sun. With the naked eye, several thousand stars can be seen. With binoculars, hundreds of thousands of stars can be seen. With a telescope, millions can be seen. So here's the Little Dipper, and the handle of the lip, Little Dipper has the North Star. And then the Big Dipper looks just like the Big Little Dipper, but larger. All stars seem to turn around one star, the North Star, which is here. And this little fella here is looking at the stars with the teles uh, binoculars. And there is a gigantic telescope. At the end of their life, stars diminish and sometimes explode and then become so tiny they're called dwarf stars. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. Here's the Milky Way from above. It is a large flat spiral filled with billions of stars. So this is our galaxy. There are four large arms, one, two, three, four, that come out of its core. And here is what a view of our galaxy looks like from the side. It's very flat. In the sky, there are millions and millions of other galaxies that come in all different shapes. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the universe today. I hope you're having a good time at home. Know that we miss you so much and hope to get to see you again soon. Bye, friends.